All right. Another way of sorting arrays is what's called the bubble sort. And I'll explain the algorithm here. What we're going to do is we're going to be comparing pairs of numbers. And if they're not in order, we're going to swap them. Every time we swap a number, we'll check the swapped box, or we'll, we'll have a swapped uh, value equals to true. So we start with there is no swap yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare this number to this number. OK, so the first two. So is 4 greater than 1? Yes, it is. So then we're, they're probably not in the right order, right? Because this one should be smaller than this one. If this one's greater than this one, then they're, in or, they're not in order. So if this number is greater than the next one, I should swap the two numbers. So 1 and 4. Then I move here. Is 4 greater than 8? No. So 4 and 8, they are in the right order. It doesn't matter that there are some numbers in between. We'll see how that solves itself. So then we move. They're in the right order. Now, 8. Is 8 greater than 3? Yes, it is. So let's swap them. 3 and 8. And then we move again. Is 8 greater than 5? Yes. So we swap them. 5 and 8. Swapped. Okay, so we have we did some swaps, so this is true. If swap is true, we'll do the whole thing again. So let's come back and say, is this greater than this one? Okay, we, we set swap to false, I'm sorry. And then we start again. Is this number greater than the next one? No, so then they're in the right order. Is this number greater than the next one? Yes, it is, so then we swap them. Four, and we swap. Whoops, swap four with three here. Move. Is this number greater than this one? No, it is not. So they're in the right order. Is five greater than eight? No, it is not. So they're in the right order. We get here. They're in the right. Uh, but then there's nothing there. Did we do a swap? Yes, we swap three and four. So this is true. Because swap is true, we have to start over again. Set swap to false again. So we assume that there would be no swaps, but if we swap, we set this to true. Is one lower than three? Yes, so they're in the right order. Is three smaller than four? Yes, they're in the right order. Is four smaller than five? Yes, they're in the right order. Is five smaller than eight? Yes, they're in the right order. Now we end up, and swap is false. That's when we stop and we have a full sorted array. So we're going to try to implement this method here. This method, by the way, is called bubble sort, and here's the code that does it. I'm going to trace it so you can see, because the, the, the one thing that I want to show you after is slightly different. But bubble sort, we will start with swap true, just so we can go into this while loop that says while swapped. Okay? These are, this is going to control whether we have made any swaps. So while we made swaps, the first time is going to go through. We could also do a do while. That, that might be even more appropriate. So let's do a do while. Do the following. Swapped is set to false. Now for all the elements of the array, j starts at 0 and j is less than numbers at length minus 1. OK, why is length minus 1? Well, because the arrow will always have to compare to the next one. So it can only go here and compare to the next one, because if we move this to the very end, there's no next one to compare in, in Java, in this case. So we're always going to go to one less than the, than the last, so we can compare to the last one. If the number at position j is greater than the number at position j plus 1, that means that the numbers are not in order, because whatever number j at position j should be smaller than the one that comes right after it. So if the number is bigger, then that means that they're in the wrong order and we have to swap. Then this is our routine to swap j with j plus 1. There's a temporary variable. We put numbers of j plus 1 in there. Then in place of j plus 1, we put the numbers of j. And then in place of numbers of j, we put temp. This is our routine to swap. Now, because there was a swap, we set swap to true. Right? So then 
and we will we will do this uh, right we'll do this while swap so as long as there have been swaps we're going to do this thing so let's compile this uh, oops I need to declare boolean swapped I'll assume it's false all right Okay, so let's run it. This is my array, 41835. Oops, run it, and it returns the array sorted. And I can put any any give any numbers or any size here. It's 55, 54, 2, 32, 43. If I compile it and run it, it doesn't matter what array I put there, it's gonna be order 55, 32, 43, 54. Okay, and this is bubble sort. Now, one thing that I want to explain with this is, well, this array, I fix it. How can I do it so I enter any number of uh, any, any, any array, right? So let's think of an array of, um, uh, of size, I don't know, seven, okay? So what I will do is four int i equals zero to i less than seven, or size less than size, or plus plus. I'm going to first. I'm going to create a scanner. Keyboard equals new scanner system in right, and then what I will do is I will say, and I will create a new integer array int numbers integer array numbers is going to be a uh, new int of size size right which is seven why do I use these variables here this variable name is supposed to put in just seven well because I'm going to use this size in more than two places and if I change it to whatever number everything else down here should work because I'm just using the variable not a fixed number so for each um, so for i equals 0 to less than size, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say numbers sub i, okay, equals keyword dot next int. And I'm going to put a little prompt here is system dot out and then print line, enter size numbers okay so let's compile this and run it enter seven numbers so let me enter seven numbers 54 67 2 34 98 12 how many do i have three six and then one okay now i have entered seven numbers and it puts them in the array numbers and then i just sort numbers okay and here are the numbers sorted. Now you could conceivably put another um, another prompt here that says system dot out dot print line enter the number of elements right and then I'll put size equals keyword dot next int and now I even have the user enter the size. So let's let's do this. So enter the number of elements, three. Now enter three numbers, see, because I'm using just the variable size. And size is what you just entered. Enter three numbers. Four, three, two. And it ordered them two, three, four. Okay? So this is how you would A create an array based on input and this is just another sorting method that's very popular and this part here is just code that prints the array